Hey there folks, I'm sad to say it, but this is going to be my last upload for quite some time. Not exactly sure when I'm going to be back. Anyway, I'm uh, seeing you guys off with a UU battle against LeBron Dwayne 63 I'm pretty sure he's the one who requested the tier, and it was only after we got to the battle that I saw that he was running a mono psychic, specifically a mono pixie team. So, um, aim of the game is to keep Umbreon alive because, you know, dark type against a bunch of psychics is usually a good thing. Although so I have one, two, three, four Pokemon that resist psychic, or, uh, resist or are immune to psychic type moves. Anyway, he starts off with his Uxie. Um, worst he can do is you uh, is you turn out, and I figure great opportunity to set up rocks. With rocks up, then his Victini is only going to be able to switch in a set number of times. He's got no spinner on his team, so all in all, I think that was a good first move. Gonna want to switch out here against his Azelf. Uh, just. Uh, yeah, I mean, go. I go out into Mech, he goes for the Fire Blast, the Fire Blast misses, thank god. I was thinking that he's probably uh, Scar for Specs, and instead it, it shows that he's a nasty plot set. I luckily didn't try to do anything fancy, I just went for Foul Play first turn, it gets him down to his Sash, so he's a Sash nasty plot set, and that is not particularly good for me. Uh, Luckily he doesn't have the Focus Blast, he goes for the Fire Blast, and it does less than half, which means actually that Focus Blast would have still left Mick alive, because Mick is a special wall. So Mick survives, I take him out with another, um, an another foul play, and that is good news. So now I'm just going to come Meloetta. This is the Pokemon I'm really most worried about, and obviously not going to want to, you know, if, if it pirouettes first, or uses Relic Song first turn, goes into its pirouette form, then it's a fighting type, which isn't good. I got into Durant thinking that'll resist the Relic Song, but holy crap, that does a lot of damage. Was not, re I've, I've never actually faced Meloetta in a competitive situation, so I really had no idea what, uh, how freaking amazing it would be, and I also didn't realize that pirouette form outruns um, my Durant, so that is a waste of a Durant, and that is not a good place for me to be. I go out now into my Mind Shao, because my Mind Shao is scarfed, I go for the high jump kick, uh, it does not miss, he doesn't like protect or anything weird like that, and I've taken out his Meloetta, so that's one threat way, way out of the way, and now it is going to come Mew. Obviously not going to want to go for another high jump kick in, in case he goes for Psychic, also it's just not going to do anything. I was expecting him to be kind of a bulkier support set, but as you're about to see, that's not actually the case. He goes for a Psychic with his Mew, and holy crap, that does a lot of damage to my Zapdos. Now this is, I suspect, a speed tie, although maybe with my IVs, I'm, I, he does out and out of speed me, but I lose my Zapdos due to really poor planning. I go out into Mick here, thinking, I don't know how he's hitting so hard. Um, and figure, and it looks like I'm forcing the switch, so that's good. Maybe he's a Specs Mew? Not sure what's going on there. I just go for the Wish, uh, just in case, you know, the switch was obvious. Um, and I decide actually I'm going to stay in so that I can get Mick back up to full health. And, uh, so he's going to go ahead and set up Stealth Rocks. I've got a Spinner, but also I've lost all the Pokemon on my team who care about Stealth Rocks, mainly Zapdos. Zapdos is actually the only one who cares about the Stealth Rocks, really, uh, since, you know, even Durant... Uh, doesn't, isn't weak to it. So, um, back up to full health, that's all good. He goes for a Thunder Wave, which is kind of a weird move. I guess we're thinking maybe I would switch out, but I'm in, and I've got the Synchronize. Maybe he thought I was running Inner Focus. No, no such luck, and now he's paralyzed as well. The thing, the difference is that I have the Heal Bell. Now, he could have the Heal Bell as well. Oh, I get a very nice crit on that uh, foul play, but... You know, it's not like he really could have done anything to me. He goes for a Thunder Wave again, not exactly sure why, but maybe he thought I was going to switch out into someone else, but um, I'm now cured of my paralysis, and I'm, since he's still paralyzed, I will be able to outspeed, go for a foul play, and get the kill. So Yuxi is now down, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good about things. He goes out into Victini here, and not going to want to take a V-Create, which is what I'm expecting Victini to do. I was expecting it to be kind of a banded set. And so I go out into Randy, my slow bro, to take the V-Create. Uh, instead, he goes for Blue Flare, and I'm like, Blue Flare? First of all, I didn't even realize that 
Victini. At this point, I didn't realize that Victini could even know Blue Flare. Um, and I was saying, oh, he must be that weird. And I was doing a little bit of reading, and I said, I realized, okay, he's probably running the that weird special mix set. But then he runs, he uses Grass Knot. I'm thinking, ah, oh, Mick, uh, Randy can survive because it's actually fairly light. I think it only it has a base power of 60. But he actually takes me out. So rather than thinking that this is a mix set, I'm thinking now that he's a full out special attacker. Um, and so I'm thinking, leave Mick out. Best he can do, it, it turns out, is Focus Blast. So yeah, he's running the full-on uh, special set rather than the Mick set. And I'm pretty sure Mick can survive. Indeed, Mick does survive. He gets the special defense drop, but it doesn't matter all that much because I am going to get the kill with Foul Play. Uh, even though he's running the special attacker set, you know, Victini still has base 100 attack. So even if he's running timid or modest zero IVs, still a pretty powerful attack for, you know, probably not that great defensive. Well, I mean, it's base 100 all-around defensive, but it's still super effective. So here I'm going to go ahead and protect against this Mesprit just to see what it's going to do. I'm kind of suspecting that this is the Bandit set. Uh, I can't really tell you why. I guess I was, I was, I spent a lot of time on Smog on looking up because I, I, I haven't really seen these Pixies around too much play competitively, so I really didn't know what they did, and so I saw that one of the more power, more popular sets for Mesprit is the Banded set, so I think that's what he's running. Uh, based on that damage of the U-turn, I will tell you whether I was right. So here he goes out into Mew. I am just going to go for the U-turn with my Mind Shao. It's going to do a hefty chunk of damage, and so as long as he doesn't have Soft Boiled or Roost... Uh, I, I'm thinking that this is actually a very offensive Mew set. I'm not, it's obviously not a support set. Uh, here he goes for the Aura Sphere. Uh, not, I guess he was thinking I would switch out into um, Mick, but uh, I switch out instead into my uh, my um, Claydol, and that turns up proves to be a very good move. Here, I thought I could have predicted it, but I instead just go for the Earth Power, not wanting to overpredict. And so now uh, he sends out his Mesprit, uh, his Levitate means that does nothing, and now he's going to U-turn out again. Luckily, Claydol is a pretty bulky Pokemon, and I think he was probably expecting me to switch out, but he, I didn't because I don't really need Claydol at this point and better to just do what I'm doing right here. I stay and go for the Psychic, it'll hit both of his Pokemon, although it's going to be resisted by both, and I managed to take out Mew. So that's good, and now he's down to his last Pokemon, and I decide I'm going to leave in my Claydol for fodder just so I can see what move he's going to lock himself into, because again I'm thinking that he's probably banded. Uh, I will let you know in the annotations whether those accounts support that. So he takes me out with an Ice Punch. Know that know now that he's not locked into Ice Punch. And here I go out into um, my Mind Shell, and I'm not exactly sure why I went for the Stone Edge, not the U-Turn, considering U-Turn would do more, considering it's super effective. Uh, and I'm glad I, none of the attacks missed, uh, or that Stone Edge didn't miss, and this next Stone Edge, I'm going to just tell you now, doesn't miss. So uh, that is a dead mess period, and I've won the match, but I've only won it 2-0, so this was rather close considering my opponent was using a mono psychic team. So, Element of Surprise really helped him out there. A great game. Comment, rate, subscribe, folks.